In this video, I will be covering a negative growth stock. So how do we use the constant growth model when the growth rate itself is negative? Would anyone buy the stock and what is its value? The firm still has earnings and pay dividends even though they may be declining. So they still have value. It's not that dividend pay is not being paid. Dividend is still being paid, but the dividend is now instead of increasing, it is declining every year. So you can still use the constant growth formula because the negative growth rate is constant. So it's going to decline every year at a constant rate. जो नेगेटिव सिक्स परसेंट का रेट है उससे कॉन्स्टेंटली आपका डिविडेंड कम हो रहा है टिल इन्फिनिटी तक सो आप अभी तक अभी भी यही सेम फॉर्मूला यूज कर सकते हो बट ओवर हेयर नाउ द ग्रोथ रेट इट सेल्फ इज नेगेटिव सो दट जस्ट प्लग इन द वैल्यूज सेम एग्जांपल है जो हम अभी तक कर रहे थे जिसमें डी नॉट आपके पास टू है द ग्रोथ रेट इज बट नाउ नेगेटिव Six percent and R is thirteen percent. So let's plug in the values. D one. So D not. आपके पास given है two. You have to convert it into D one. <coughs> This is the formula to do that. Now D not is two, and now the growth rate is negative. So minus six. Percent zero point zero six. You will get one point eight eight plus into minus will still be minus. I will show the step to you so there is no confusion. One minus zero point zero. Sorry, one minus zero point zero six. So if you solve this, this will be one point. Eight eight. Yeah, but what happened? Plus into negative will still remain negative. So this is one point eight eight. Dividend decline हो गया increase होने के बजाय पहले two का pay हो रहा था अब one point eight eight pay हो रहे. The R is zero point one three and the growth rate is again the growth rate is negative in itself. So use the negative sign. Now negative multiplied by negative will become positive. So if you solve this, your answer will come nine point eighty nine. This is the value of the stock in this case. <coughs> so moving ahead, find the expected annual dividend and the capital gain yield. So we know that when the when the growth rate is constant. Only when the growth rate is constant, it is equal to the capital gain yield. So the constant growth rate is negative six percent. That will be our capital gain yield. Now the total return that we have. This is a formula. The total return that we need is thirteen percent. We do not know what the dividend is, and the capital gain yield is negative six. Percent, so zero point one three. This is negative. It will become positive on the other side. Zero point zero six dy. So nineteen percent, or you can say nineteen percent multiplied by one hundred is the dividend yield. So since the stock is experiencing constant growth, dividend yield and capital gain yields are constant. Dividend yield is sufficiently large, which is nineteen percent, to offset negative capital gains. <coughs> and with this, our topic ends, and these are the references.